I, I, I come from a very poor and conservative family. So I never imagined when I was young that I was going to achieve what I have achieved now. It's, I think I, I was lucky if compared with other women from my region because I was the first uh, woman or girl at that time to leave the region, it's uh, Ushta, which is in the eastern parts of Morocco, very conservative city where women did not use to go to school or to pursue education. So I was the first woman to leave this town to, ca to go to Casablanca uh, at, for, uh, to have a battleship and then from there to, to, to university. I supervise uh, students and many of them are women and I promote human rights and women's rights, which is something, this is what I do as uh, in theory. In practice, I am an attorney, I am a law practicing lawyer, and my specialization is migration. And this is a specialization which has been neglected somehow all over the world and in my country particularly. You know how migrants need to be defended, to be protected. And I do this with, I mean, a lot of joy. So the key moment is when I came to Oxford. You know, I, I, I was really lucky to get two scholarships. The first scholarship to come to, uh, for my M master's degree, to study at LAC, London School of Economics and SUAS for African Studies and the second one to go to Oxford to go to Oxford to, to prepare my doctorate d'etat share, well it's more than PhD but my supervisor at Oxford was uh, Dr. Barbara Harman, late Barbara Harman and this, she inspired me, myself a lot she was a great woman I came for her to, I read the tribute for her, uh, well, on 20th, last, what, last Saturday, and I just said, I told Barbara once, Barbara, you are, you are unique, you should be put in a, in a museum, because there is no such person like you. And this woman inspired me a lot. She was determined, she had so many problems in her life, and she inspired so many girls, not only in Morocco, but all over the world. So I, I, this is, I, I would like to inspire at least few, few girls as she did.